Hello, so my name is Zara Northover and I'm coming to you live and direct from my apartment in Michigan. So it's been a while since I've vlogged and uh, I decided to use YouTube now because it'll be easier to record and um, just input these either on my blogs on www.zaranorthover.com or on my Facebook page, Facebook fan page. Uh, moving in faith. So come find it on Facebook, like it, and uh, join in on the movement. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So what do I want to talk about today? Today I am, I've been going through some things, honestly. And um, you know, I'm trying to figure out what the rest of my athletic career is going to look like. I have a thesis that I need to, you know, really start brainstorming and putting together. Um, you know, for this year in order to graduate with my master's in sports management in April. I've got classes, I've got work, um, you know, there's there's a ton of different things that I want to do and, and I see myself doing and, and obviously there's also moving in faith. There's, there's these shirts and um, the movement, God's movement that I've been trying to push and develop and enhance um, for the last couple of years that's that's starting to take off and you know there's things that I need to obviously develop and do for that as well so there, there are things on my plate not not too much um, but but definitely things that have me thinking have my mind going and there's things that I'm still dealing with that I haven't really dealt with like um, the death of my coach the one year anniversary is coming up in uh, October and you know my brother passed away, was killed last year too in January, and, and my dad in, in April. So, you know, I didn't really deal with those things because so much things were going on, and I find myself in a stage where just, there's a melting pot in my mind. And um, that being said, I have decided to take a four-day fast. Um, literally, water, my Bible, and this book, Boundaries. When to say yes, when to say no, to take control of your life. Um, you know, I personally still always believe that God is in control of my life, and, you know, I let go and I let God, you know, but we do have free will. We do have, um, you know, we do, we do we do we control whether we say yes or no. We control whether we believe or we don't. Situations in our life might push us and help steer us back to where we need to go, but ultimately we still have that control to say we're going to do it or we're not going to do it. And that's because you know God has obviously given us free will. And um, I know I don't know if everybody does, but I know I battle with uh, learning to say no. I might literally say yes to everything. I might constantly be there for people that um, use or, you know, they don't abuse me, but I mean, I guess using could be a form of, a, uh, of abuse as well. And uh, I deal with a lot of things, a little deal with a lot of nonsense, let's just put it that way. And um, I think this book will be good for me because I think I need to set some boundaries on my own life and become redisciplined uh, so this way I can continue to move in faith and achieve just all the great things God has in store for me. And I'm excited to set on this journey to do so. Today's day one, and like I said, I haven't had anything to eat yet, and I'm feeling pretty good. I actually just finished reading a chapter from this book and, um, you know, looking at some old journals. And it's it's been great, and I, I just encourage you all to kind of think back on your own life and reevaluate where you are and just not be afraid to take a step back so you can propel forward and that's kind of where I'm at in my life like I'm I'm really enjoying this time of being able to take a look at myself and try to just compartmentalize things so this way I could um, move forward with more quality in the things that I'm doing than rather than quantity and the amount that I'm doing and just really put myself in a position to really be used by God to really be a vessel to kind of spread his word this motto his phrase be there for family and friends uh, and accomplish my dreams and goals in the process you know this 
this this moving in faith thing is is really I'm really passionate about it, and that's just because you know there's I just feel like God has impressed this on my heart, and my father was so excited when you know I told him about what it is that I've been trying to do for the last five years, and just the progression to get a, a Facebook comment the other day from someone saying, hey, I saw somebody in Berlin, Germany wearing your shirt. It just it just makes me smile because I'm I'm confident that the person that was wearing the shirt, you know, was a believer. I'm confident that they were somebody willing to spread their story in order to help others and um, they were confessing that they were moving in faith. They were confessing that they you know, are in a position that they're going to strive to achieve the best, um, strive to achieve their dreams. That's basically what it comes down to, um, that they believed in self, that themselves that much that they were boldly confessing that they were moving in faith. And um, I can't, I can't ask for much more than that. Like, I'm, I know that this is going to grow and with your prayers and with your continued support, uh, this will develop to the point where we have all sorts of gears, polo shirts and warm-up suits and just cute things to to showcase that we believe. We're moving in faith and then these things become our reminders and our reminders empower and remind others and it's just a trend that will continue um, for years and years and decades and centuries to come. and. I'm just so grateful to God that he's allowed me to be the vessel he uses to help promote and push us through. And that's just what I wanted to ramble on today about. <laughs> There's so many different things that I would have shared, and um, and I'm sure I will continue to share as time goes by. But thanks for tuning in, checking in. I love you so much. So check out movinginfaith.com to get your shirt. And... Uh, like the fan page, Moving in Faith, and follow me on Twitter at Zara Northover. And let's do this. Mwah.